Well, the top feature requests in Notion is an integration into Google Calendar. So Notion acquired Automate I.O. in September of 2021, followed by Cron in June of 2022, and Flowdash in July of 2022. And that got people really excited. The dots seem to connect towards task management, calendar management, and integrations. Further, they announced their intent towards bringing in Google Calendar integration in the block by block of 2022. Over the last 12 months, there's been a significant anticipation that we get to see this exact promise fructified for users. A couple of days ago on June 30th, Cron announced the ability to link the Cron calendar to Notion amongst others. The real question is, did they deliver? But you might ask, why is this important? Notion's direction towards integrating power users and small and medium sized businesses towards using their paid plans has a lot to do with it. Many of these users use the G Suite, including the Google Calendar and Mail, towards their businesses. And all of this integrates into the mobile and into their workflow. While Notion's power really shines with databases used in project management and the second brain, and in general note-taking, its weekly, monthly, and timeline views don't really compare to Cron. Cron provides a great layer for time management functions by integrating with Google Calendar, with Zoom, and with Calendly style functions. And that will share availability on your calendar. Let's talk about the current user solution. Many Notion users, including myself, thought of a solution that involved mirroring the Google Calendar inside of Notion. To this day, I use Notion automations to provide for that solution. And that syncs bi-directionally with the Google Calendar. And any changes I make inside the Google Calendar or inside of Notion is reflected almost instantaneously across the other for current and for future events. But given the weak nature of Notion's calendaring system, I've still relied on Google Calendar, on Cron, or Fantastical as a view to use while looking at my calendar. Tasks and subtasks could be synced into the Google Calendar without any data entry or any of the links that you have to manually insert into Notion. The weakness of this system is that one Notion database is the master database that hooks the Google Calendar. And considering the ever-growing size of the Google Calendar items, Notion's database becomes slower as time progresses. Again, if I needed to edit something on data before today, it doesn't actually reflect in the Google Calendar since the sync has now been broken. The other thing is links to Figma, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Dropbox are typically inserted into Notion as a hyperlink. Teams would tend to drift towards Notion to get an integrated view, which is, in a sense, what Notion also wants towards the user's stickiness. Let's talk Cron. Cron's team has been putting across new functionalities and feature sets, and they've launched a mobile version after their acquisition. But Cron as a standalone doesn't really do anything significantly different from a combination of a few apps that are already out there. So their integration into Notion ecosystem and the user community is crucial for its survival. So what's Cron's solution to the problem? Cron's approach has been that calendars drive a user's day. Hence, they would tend to look at the calendar and then decide what they would work on for that day, for that week, a month or a quarter. So Cron's approach is to create linkages to these different resources, like Notion, by utilizing the API frameworks and establishing connections. Now, given their proximity to Notion, they took advantage of creating new pages inside of Notion, inside of databases, or standalone pages. They could also link existing Notion pages to the Cron calendar by copying the page link into Cron. This works really well, and it gives you the feeling that you suddenly are having a Notion window pop up that throws up the link. The other thing is that I can attach the same calendar appointment to multiple Notion pages or even multiple calendar appointments to the same Notion page. Upon saving, you'll find a Notion page that's created within the Notion database. For that, you need to predefine a Notion database with properties that you would like to capture for a project, a task, or a subtask. Now, you can do something similar for Figma, for Google Docs, or for Dropbox. So you might ask, what's the problem with the cron solution? What you need to be aware of is that each of the links is manual, and you need to define it inside of cron. The hyperlink can only open up a browser, and from there, you have to set it up to redirect it to the Notion app. 
instead of opening the browser. And I can't change this. Now, if the task you just penned down inside of cron happens to be a subtask and not a task, you need to move that inside of Notion to become a subtask. The other thing is the date property. It's not passed on from cron to Notion. Hence, you need to enter that manually. So often, I find myself having a side-by-side -side view with the Notion window open if I need to copy the link of an existing page to cron. Creating this link was possible only on the cron desktop, though later I was able to see it in the descriptions in the mobile app. To me, this is hugely limiting since calendaring is as much mobile as it is on the desktop. Now, if I delete the calendar entry in cron, the entry inside of Notion stays intact. If I move the date inside of cron, I have to manually change the record inside of Notion. To me, that's hardly any solution to the integration problem that we have created. Again, planning is hardly ever done on a calendar as a standalone tool. So my solution remains that I will take advantage of Cron's new features, but I'll still have to retain the Google Calendar to Notion sync using Notion automations. So in the description, I've added a link for Notion automations that you could use for accessing the same. To see more insightful videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. Till the next video, adios amigos.